Hello, welcome back to Let's Read with Rosalie. And today I thought I would do an open cup pour with the last black canvas I had. And I taped it in the back, put my little push pins in there. Um, I just wanted you to hear oops, what it sounds like when it's the canvas is not tight see it has like that hollow uh, sound to it not a drum beat let through. so let me spray it with some water to tighten up the canvas You hear that? Now it sounds like a drum. It has a thrumming sound to it instead of a flat, hollow sound. That's the sound that you want to get from your canvas. So, once again, I have a plethora of colors, but they're all in blues and gold, and maybe just a little bit of silver, yeah, and one interference. The one color that I'm uh, uh, kind of uncertain about is this uh, Momenta Fabric Paint Turquoise. I didn't realize when I purchased it at the Tuesday morning that it's a fabric paint. Not, but hey, it might work for this because the canvas is fabric. <laughs> so, but I don't know if it'll work well with the black background so let me tell you what my other colors there's Pebeo Studio um, iridescent blue green and they're not going to go in this order this is the folk art aqua flash Artist Law Phalo Blue, my matte metallic gold, uh, Deco Art Americana Satin Coastal Waters, Deco Art Americana Satin True Blue. Deco Art Premium Pres Prussian Blue Hue. Um, Art Minds Tahiti Blue, which I love this color. Art Minds Sapphire, which is another beautiful color. This is their brushed metallic line, which I believe they discontinued this one. But don't quote me on that because I found it in the clearance section. Um, Deco Art Matte Metallic Ivory Pearl. Pebeo Iridescent Precious Gold. Uh, Deco Art 24 Karat Gold. Sargent Art Liquid Metal Gold. Art Minds Caribbean Blue and uh, it's going to be a dash of Deco Art Matte Metallic Soft Silver. So not in that particular order. I'm going to do an open cup pour. I don't know if I want to center it. I'm not sure if I want it there or let it ride along. I seem to have better luck when things ride along. So we'll ride along corner. If we have to go corner to corner, we'll do that. But I just wanted to use up my last black canvas. 
said, let's get started. Now, uh, my one fear is that apparently I had mixed up. Let me show you a whole gallon of my Dutch pour white. But when you open it, it smells like rotten eggs. Apparently, this Floetrol with the white cap tends to, to do that. It costs, I don't know why, it's the exact same thing as the ones that I've been buying with the orange cap. But I did post it on Facebook with my Facebook group and they said that there is some kind of problem with this, just the white cap one. So if you can find the orange cap one, good for you. Make sure you buy that. That is my word of warning because it not only does it stink, but it crystallizes in the paint. So you'll have these, um, I call them floaties, crystal. I don't know if it's crystal crystallized paint with Floetrol. It's probably just, or just crystallized Floetrol. But if you're going to use it, because I'm going to have to use that but I'm gonna have to strain it. But I used it in some of these colors, so it didn't stink. And I'm just hoping that it didn't crystallize in here, so I wouldn't have ooh, a lot of uh, lumps. You get those lumps in the paint. As it dries, that's when you see them. And my one painting had a lot of them so I don't know. I, those are like my, because the last time I purchased them, I purchased three and they were fine. The one with the white cap. But there was something wrong with this one. With these last three batches that I just bought. But anyway, that's just my word of warning for today. Let's get started. Oh, let me shake this up. And I'm using my um, the, um, black without the iridescent medium in it. It's just Floetrol and paint. The Artist Loft uh, Flow Acrylic in black. It's, let me spread it around. Kind of like I like this spreader. I do have the omelet turning spreader. Um, I used it twice, but I kind of prefer this for smaller um, canvases like these. Uh, and this is a uh, sixteen by twenty. Um, uh, two pack, uh, three. No, it came in a three pack um, canvas. It's just a regular stapled back canvas. Hmm, that's pretty good. And clean your utensils right away. You don't want that black drying on there because it is oh, awful to remove. Okay. So I'm going to start that right there. Let me seal it. And give some something for it to flow to. Lift up the one edge so it flows down. And I did uh, Ooh, I did level this. The canvas is level. 
and I'm hoping to set it right here so I can do another pour. Let's just pop the bubbles. Okay. So, I'm wondering what to start with first. I think I'll start off with my, oh, the Prussian, we'll start with the darkest one, which is the Prussian Blue Hue by Decorate Premium. Okay. Then let's, well, let's, in for a pound, in for a pen, or in for a penny, in for a pound, as they say. Let's try my pearl. This way. The sapphire. That was the Tahiti blue. Uh, let's do the. Let's do our matte metallic gold. You're going the wrong way. Let's get this off. The phalo blue. Iridescent blue green. aqua flash and right here I believe I want the silver okay then let's go with the true blue what other blue did I not use I didn't use this uh, Caribbean blue okay let's use the precious gold Ooh. I quit walking on me come on keep traveling Keep traveling. Okay. Deco art. I haven't used this yet, so there's flow trawl on the tip. Ah, now it's dirty. Coastal water. Let's try the sergeant liquid metal gold uh, let's try our ivory pearl again Prussian that fabric paint oh I haven't tried this interference. Let's try putting an interference in there. Okay. Some more matte metallic gold. Phalo blue. Blue green. Ah, 
aqua flash. Let's try the 24 karat. Uh, there's some squeeze in there. Some more sapphire. Our silver. True blue. Russian blue, that was Tahiti blue, let's try the pearl again, coastal waters, matte metallic and gold, Oh my goodness, you should see the cells that are forming right here. Uh, and this one is... I'm gonna... I'm losing this one. Okay, uh, let's go with the phthalo blue. Blue-green. Prussian blue, precious gold, the silver, okay, the sapphire, the Stanley gold, uh, so the, that, that was the coastal water, this is the interference gold. Let's do the Okay, I think we're almost done. Some more sapphire. Some more gold, blue green, Ooh, touch the bottom, folk art, and we're just going around, Tahiti blue, okay, the pearl, the gold, no, not the silver yet, that's the turquoise, and we'll do the silver. And last, some more of our matte metallic gold. So, okay, let's get this out of here. There we go. Ooh, sucky, sucky now. Look at that. Let me wipe my <coughs> hands. And I dirty up my bottles. Let me put you on hold. And uh, so I can get these bottles out of my way. And I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And let's fire this baby up. And let us tilt. Okay, we're way. 
I'm going to go to that corner first. I'm going to go real slow. Can you guys see me? I'm in frame. That's good. Oh, that is very, very pretty. Can you see that? Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Okay. Make sure. Let me go to my right hand corner real slow I don't want to lose too much but we got to get rid of all a lot of the base paint because it is okay Look at that. Ugh, I'm getting paint all over me. Let me center it back. He fired it up again. I gotta wipe my hands. I don't want to drip. Oh, I want the whole paper towel with me. Over here, it's so pretty. I see that. Prussian blue. I didn't think it would show up. It's and it's probably gonna get lost. <laughs> oh. I don't see it anywhere else but over here, right here, in this left hand corner of mine. To your right if you're looking at me. Okay. Let's go some more. Oh, and we've lost our Prussian blue. Center it. I still have a lot more paint, but I don't know where I want to go. Everything is so pretty. That corner, see that corner? Look how pretty that is. But there's ways, still way too much paint on this canvas. So, everything is so pretty. Oh. Well, let's go. Oh, let's go this way a little bit. Stretch that out a little. Center. And see, look how pretty this corner is. So tell me, which corner should I go? <laughs> Everything is so pretty. I lost my Prussian blue. Oh, well, I can still see some over here. I didn't want to lose that Prussian blue. Let's go a little bit this way. No, no, uh, this way. Just a little bit more. We're losing not too much. So then we'll go onto this other side. There is still way too much paint on this. See how fast it's kind of moving? Oh. Where, oh, where am I willing to lose? What corner? Let's lose a little bit on this corner. Oh, I touched my cord.
Okay. I think I'm done. If it cracks, <gasps> that I'm going to be. Okay, well, we'll go a little bit off on this corner. Okay, back. Center. Okay, I'm done. I'm done stretching it. If there's too much paint and it cracks, I'll just redo it again. Uh, go a little bit on this corner. Now, um, center. Well, there's not that much paint. Okay, I am done. Let's. I'm going to do the my edges. Make sure you clean off your edges, your bottom edges, for drips because it will keep pulling your composition. I love that I have black in each corner right there. Right. So I'm leaving it like that. Oh, it is so, so, so pretty. And you should see the, the drips. Oh, I touched that thing again. You should see how pretty the drips are. Oh. Let me get rid of this. Okay. So I hope this doesn't have those crystals on it so let me put you on pause or and um, and bring it down for a close-up okay look at the drips first look at that look how pretty that is that is such a waste I'm gonna I think I'm gonna scrape it up and make uh, coasters out of it but look at this look at this corner I got my little black look at the gold the gold and the sapphire mixed in but I stretched it out I took out a lot of them look at those cells right there look, look at the corner isn't that pretty I don't have the light the flash on so hopefully not the flash my uh, my table light have the overhead ceiling light on Look at that. Love that little black right there. And over there. Look at that. Look at, I did get rid of that corner to try and get more paint off. But it's still, what I did leave is still very pretty. Now look at this corner here. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? All well, those plethora of uh, colors, blues and golds, sure uh, worked well on this. So I hope you enjoyed this. Because um, I sure did. So uh, for the paint, we'll be uh, on the description below. And uh, if you wanna wanna purchase any of my paintings, decoupage, any of my artwork, uh, you can contact me at Rosalie underscore Bromley at yahoo.com or Rosalie Bromley at gmail.com. 
and I'll link that in the description below. So until the next creation, bye! I just wanted to show you what I did with the runoff. I had this 98 cent uh, picture frame which I bought from uh, Michaels and I didn't know what to do with it and I didn't think uh, four tiles, four coasters would be would be way too many tiles for the runoff so I hope you like it so until the next creation bye once again